Okay, we're going to keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. I want to make all the I mean, All right. You know you've made it if you got that back. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Pathetic. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car rack. How'd I heard this suit? An abandoned vehicle. You catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Hold on. Speaking of... Now where are my suits? Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. Hilarious. Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Now that price is outrageous. I wanted to change the suit. Was I blind or was it not there? Actually, uh, are... I hit harder. Punches. Shoot straighter with a grand and a Colt 45. Ooh. We are sort of just. Where? Come on, Bukowski. Scared him, but yeah, yeah, come back, come back, come back. Sell your hot dogs. You hear about Adrian? He's brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Murkowski. Talking from experience. Hmm. All right, then. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. All right, then. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Then, this uh, flag seems to be missing. Also, the wheel is missing. Yeah. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. We'll have the flag. You know. I guess I noticed this one. Must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have it, any street value. Probably not. It's owned by the Argentinian embassy. Quite the car to go for them. Who's a drunk? Empty. Hmm. Leave the plates back here, too. Mm. Around. Ooh. Found it over here. Aha. Combination wrench. 
must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Do we bros? Huh? Find out about these Huey bros. Also, maybe car plate is Phelps batch twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership. 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks for your help. Really? Um, anything else? The like garbage on the floor. Baseball up. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Could be. Come on. There's a bat. How would you leave your bat out here? It doesn't tell me anything. All right, Jacobs. Oswald Jacobs. That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Hmm, okay. What'd you see? Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Hmm. Okay. I give him. Face seems pretty um straightforward. All right. Can you tell us what they were doing? using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. Okay. Uh, how'd you know they were obscenities? Well, you know, I assume intent. Kind of gives it away, but yeah. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Y yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you just... Didn't go anywhere near it, huh? I think you're fooling me. Fuck you. I can doubt you. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. All right, um, yeah, possible suspect. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Okay, uh, you seem way better this time, yeah. So. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. Looking like a smug piece of shit. The car was old, shit. but it looked brand new. Candy apple red pink job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Smug piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was gonna show you. It's on the chair on my porch. 
Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. All right, you can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Nineteen forty-seven agenda. Juan Francisco Valdez. John Madsen. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Henry Grove, nice eyelashes. Stanley Mercer, lovely speaking voice. Walter Marshall, good nature. Ben Brown, gentle boy. Eddie Hopper, full lips. Jimmy Corbett, baseball fan. Sammy Muller, needs a little coaxing. Uh, Jesus. Freddie Applegarth, likes cherry flavored candy. Uh, Danny Marston, angelic features. Miguel Fabian, olive skin. Oak. William Dewey. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Gabriel. Angelic features, but feisty. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Are there any messages for me? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Oh, is he? Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. Oh, is he? Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. I'd rather go uh, talk to Mr. Valdez about that book. KGI Radio I'm on reminds the you Jesus. an ounce of prevention saves many an emergency. Check to make sure your home has a first aid kit Thank for you. safety. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have got this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? Are you kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. There we go. <laughs> Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. I think we bust in there and find the goddamn man. That's the cop. All right, motherfucker. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? 
Yeah, sure. I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General. I insist on my full title. Okay. What about the Packard? Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Hmm. No, I don't think it was an assistant. You had the number for Mr. Dewey book. So, uh. No, I think that's more of the, <clears throat> the little boys thing kind of evidence. You're lying, Valdez. You made the arrangements for the car. Call the embassy. I decided the color and model, but was not involved in the transaction. Uh. Phone number of William Dewey, huh? So? Looks like I was mistaken. Just definitely shifty. Bought a Packard, Ooh, Valdez. Shit, it's not I, like you ooh. doesn't drive an American car. I want answers, or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Don't tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. What about the actual theft of the Consul car? Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the council garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. Ooh, ooh. What was that? Oh, a little smirk too? Oh, a little bit, a little bigger, a little bigger. Fuck you. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you gonna tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. Okay. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mechanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh... Run in with him. Oh, you had Gabriel in the book too. How did the first one? I'm fine. Um. On, you fuck see. young boys, Valdez. <laughs> Are you a madman? <laughs> this will cause an international <laughs> incident. Okay. Okay, I feel better about this then. Yeah. Damn straight. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. <laughs> Full fuck lips. young boys. Ring Damn, Cole. For two, huh? 